Hello everyone, it's Rad from Radku Tarot and in this whole video you are going to hear the forecast for your star sign uh, for the week 21st to 27th of September 2020. So as always, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can go to my website which is listed down below in this video and uh, there at the very front page you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. And if you are into tarot and you want to learn tarot from we, uh, from me, I'm sorry, uh, you like the way I, uh, I read cards, there are eight tarot classes that I'm offering as well and you can find uh, all about them going under the tarot classes section at the website uh, as well. My recommendation is to take the major arcana first and when you become comfortable with it, then go for the minors. So that being said, laid back and uh, enjoy the show. Right, so this is going to be a Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and as well uh, Gemini Rising. Weekly general tarot readings in terms of a uh, love and career, and as they are general readings indeed, guys. Um, what they're going to show is a energies, collective energies, and as well potentials that you can uh, unfold. But if you do think that you know, doing different stuff is better for you. By all means, do whatever you suits, uh, whatever suits you uh, best. Uh, now that being said, uh, the first reading that I'm going to do for you is going to be uh, your loved one. And the first card we do have that is going to be the Page of Wands. Uh, moving next, we have the Ace of Pentacles, followed by the Ten of Wand uh, of Cups. I'm sorry, and the last one here that will be the Two of Wands. Now that is a very interesting one. Just give me a second, okay? Oh. So, well, this is how the thing stands according to that reading. Uh, first of all, the week uh, in terms of love is going to be very colorful. Uh, for you, that is. What I mean is that there are going to be uh, many different experiences that you all will um that you are going to be involved into and that being said the week is going to be special in to a certain extent now those experiences that you are going to have for yourself for example if you are single or in between you and your person of interest or in between you and your beloved one they are going to um uncover um I would say new ways uh, for you to communicate with each other uh, and to pretty much tackle with uh, the annoying stuff and with the annoying uh, predicaments that are uh, presenting into your uh, into your circumstances in the relationship itself. And that's why we do have the Ace of Pentacles into the uh, second position of the spread, which points that the relationship that is right now it could be more harmonious than it is. And if it is not harmonious at all, it definitely can become harmonious. But for that to happen, you and your partner, you and your person of interest, or you as an individual by yourself need to be open for the new stuff around. Um, there is a uh, parable in my language, but it is a bit cynical. Uh, it describes the situation very well. Now, that being said here, uh, there are a couple of things that you need to take under a account. The first thing that you need to take under the account, which is the most important thing here, it is that if that relationship you are in does not serve you in any way and you uh, finally conclude it or you conclude it finally, Definitively, I'm sorry, finally, that, that could be used for another expression. So you definitively concluded for yourself that you are going to be better off it. Uh, you need to know that you are strong enough on your own. You don't need that. Okay, that's, that's the first thing that you need to take under account. The second thing that you need to take under the account here is to remind yourself the blessings you have. And if those blessings does not reside within the relationship at all, then it's time for you to, to let go and be open, like said, for everything new. But should you see that your blessings are within that, that relationship, despite the predicaments, despite the issues, despite the, uh, uh, the, the lack of understanding, for example, the lack of synergy that you do have with that person, uh, then through the new experiences that you are going to have with the person itself, a, a, a bridge in between you two, can and should be established. 
but regardless how you end up at the end of this uh, at the end of this week uh, you are likely to find yourself uh, liberated uh, liberated under a, a sense of that liberated under the sense of that you are to see that there is future okay you are not stuck you are not in a dead end street if i may say or alley if i may say it that way and that you are on the right track as well that is all that the two of ones point and from there regardless of what kind of a situation you're going to end up with you know the situation where you do uh, see your relationship as a blessing or you do see yourself as a blessing etc etc you are to see as well horizons that you can expand into and from there you are going to think of how to make the most out of the such presented circumstances that have been presented through the new experiences that you are going to have. On a more practical level, um, you are going to hear a very good news in regards to your love life. It could be a news of pregnancy, it could be a news of a proposal, you know, any kind of news that is going to pretty much lift your spirit and uh, boost, your, uh, boost your mood significantly. But what you need to know, it is that the harmony in your love life, I'm not talking about your relationship, but in your love life, it's not nearly reached and it has a far bigger capacity and you have to strive to do it and again think about where your blessings lie because the situation could be that you are in a relationship say but you do love another person and thinking about it you may identify that your that your blessings lay with the other person and then you know what you gotta do right because then the Ace of Pentacles points that you are never going to have a harmony into your current one and you're going to go to the other one. Okay, that, that's just an, an a, a example to illustrate how that reading can apply for the different uh, relation uh, for the different situations. So that being said, uh, Gemini, that was your uh, love tarot reading. And now let's uh, have a look what uh, your career has in store for you. Right, so career-wise, the first card that we do have for you is going to be the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, moving next, we do have the Seven of Swords, uh, followed by uh, the uh, Five of Wands. And the last one here uh, is the Four of Pentacles. So, uh, to me, that reading speaks that you may enter into the week uh, with some sort of a doubt. Now, especially if you have invested into something, say that you are on the trading market, you, you trade, that's your business, and you made some investments into stocks or into goods or, or, or into anything, and you are now doubtful that that investment will have a return. It, it will have a return. Uh, it will happen suddenly, okay, and uh, according to the uh, according to the reading, you should just keep uh, yourself calm about it, okay? Because right now, as the week, as you do enter into the week, uh, the circumstances are unfolding around the deal or around the enterprise, around the endeavor, and uh, the more you try to say control it, the worse the things become. Uh, let alone, let me give you an example here. Say you have invested into the business, into somebody, and you constantly press for to see how things are going, and you constantly press and giving an, uh, a, a demands about this and that, and finally they may kind of have enough of it and, and return your investment while you are uh, while the company is growing and you miss on the interest that is just an example i'm not a businessman so probably i can't give you the best example out there but the bottom line here is that your investments 
whatever those investments are about, you know, either you invested your time, you invested your money, you invested your efforts or your knowledge are to return to a point where by the end of the week, you are to be assured that your investments are securing a good fu future for you. Okay. A future that you would not want to, uh, to share with anybody because it's your future and anybody else within that future is going to be a, a competition. Now, that being said, um, throughout the week itself, uh, you need to work for your independence, meaning that whatever contracts, contracts you sign, whatever uh, deals you are to strike, though they need to be well um, defined for you, how the things are going to go forward. In regards to you, you shouldn't care for anybody else that it is uh, that it is there. Uh, as well, you need to know that the week itself is going to present you with a lot of turnarounds. So if you do enter into the week and things are looking rather sour for your business or for your uh, project, that may not be the case two days from now, okay? Because the five of ones into the third position is one of the best cards where... Um, things or projects that are on the verge of failure suddenly turn out to be very, very successful. So that my point is that do not presume the outcome of uh, current enterprise because the outcome can reverse itself in a matter of uh, in a matter of minutes or in a matter of seconds in that fact. And it will reverse for you or yeah, it will reverse for you. And it will be very, very pleasant surprise to a point of where, like I said, by the end of the week, your, your future is going to be pretty much assured and is going to be a good future in terms of business as the Four of Pentacles uh, stands for. It's a future that you will definitely need to guard. OK, you definitely need to guard. Now, those that are uh, jobless. According to those cards, um, they will sh they may have a proposition suddenly that may not look like it's a good one, okay? Uh, and again, these people, they need to be, um, these Gemini, they need to uh, be very vigilant when they are signing up their contract. Their, con their contract needs to be very well established and very, um, how can I say, clear, okay? There shouldn't be any question marks whatsoever. And uh, the job itself is going to prove to be far better than they, than uh, than what they have taught is uh, is going to be. So in terms of business, guys, uh, Gemini, uh, it looks like that you have made the right decision. That's all that there is to it. OK, you have recently made the right decisions, the right decision. And now you are to be re reassured of it. And um, in a few weeks from now, probably you're going to start reaping the fruits uh, of your labor. So that being said, uh, these, was, these were your a, um, love and career tarot readings for the upcoming week. Hopefully you do enjoy them and you do like them and uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.